Hi, I'm Stephen Crowley. Thanks again for joining me. A little bit different today. I've done a, my own version of a, an Edward Wesson painting I was, I was looking at online. I'm not entirely sure what, what the, the rules are regarding copyright laws and whether I should be putting this on YouTube or trying to sell it on eBay. I don't, honestly don't know. If anybody knows any more about that side of things, then if you could let me know in the comments. I don't normally make a habit of uh, using other people's paintings as, as reference. I prefer to use my own, but I just couldn't resist it on this one. So um, let's go straight into the painting and show you how I did this one. Let's get started then with a big brush and just clear water all the way over. Right, and let's go. A bit of a lizarding, a bit of raw sienna. Get some of that down there. Just a nice, varied background. And I'll just play with the colours and see what happens. Clean the brush, and I want a bit of ultramarine on there as well. Push that in from the left. A few clouds as well in there, a bit of tissue there, just to suggest a few little clouds, soak up some of that water down below as well. And then on the horizon line we've got a bit of blue, a bit of basically it's the same, it's the same colours, I'm just mixing mixing them all together. Variation. Also got the paper, it's still fairly wet, so things are going to happen that I'm not 100% in control of. I'm just looking for little little uh, bits of um, detail. Just to happen by chance, really. I'll just clean the brush. I want to go back to a lighter colour. So I'm just going to go into a bit of raw sienna. Bit of burnt umber. Right then, let's get a bit of, bit of red. Very loose here, I'm just going to put in a little windmill. I'm going to start something like that. Something like that. Bit of a reflection below. And then just above it. Any more the papers or the um or the water's wet. Right yeah, let's get this the right way around. So we're going something like that. Put that down on the other side. Something like that. Just soak up that water. Let's get a little 
bit darker. Just switch into a little little rigger brush. Details here and there, put the little window down there, another one there. Some up there. I'm not going to worry too much about reflections. Let's strengthen those little banks a bit. I'm going to go a bit of raw sienna, a bit more raw sienna, a bit more. Might look better if I pop. Let's just take this brush here. Let's take this flat brush. Just see if I can get a borderline in there. Don't know what it's going to look like. Something like that. Just keeping it level. It'll be better. All right, let's pull this flat. Pushing off the line, just if I want to soften little bits off. Um, just little random little bits of detail going in here and there. Just little little things. Could be anything. I'm just pulling them with my finger if I want to. Tight brush and again back into this raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow. Again, just, again, just strengthen this little bit there, this little section. This is slightly further forward than those. And just putting there a few reflections as they go along. Up 
Yes, I was a little bit clumsy with that actually. A little bit clumsy, just trying to tidy it up a bit. Bring it down to the right level. Got it just below where I started doing the reflections. I'm find a clean bit of tissue paper, I might actually show it a little bit better. Little brush, smallest little brush I got. Under this bag, a few little one there, one there, and a big one down there. And then I'm gonna stick your name down the bottom. So let's put a mount on it and see what it looks like. So here's the painting in the mount. So if we uh, go and have a closer look. Very simple sky. Started off with raw sienna, lizard in crimson. Brushed into the water below. Just to create that same reflection. Uh, ultramarine on the other side. Same again. Brushed that same colour into the water. And then the distant hills and, and things. Use the same colours. All the way across, try to vary it as much as I could, try and keep it interesting. And then there on the, the focal point, put in very, very loosely, got this windmill with its big blades reaching right up into the sky. Those colours and shapes reflected in the water below. So you put it in while the water was still wet, so it gives it like a hazy effect without the sharp edges. Then there's a bit of bit of rigor work, just just random shapes and patterns put in. Could be anything, different colours, darks, lights. Just gives you, gives the the viewer something to think about. Again, a few shape, rapes, shapes and patterns there. This is a bit of just a bit of foreground shore there, cutting across the reflections, and then just took some of the paint out, just create this yacht with its reflection down below in the water. So that's more a simple take on a one of. Um, Edward Wesson's paintings. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.